Great cowbell solo. Um, my next guest plays Dr. Luka Kovac on the hugely successful series ER. Please welcome Goran Vichnik. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're making me look bad. Uh, yeah, you should, uh, hey, see? You may have amazing good looks, but you don't have this crazy <laughs> hair that I have. I bet if you mess your hair around, it gets all messy, but not this right That's here. Right, gel. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the whole country's doing it. It's a new fad. <laughs> it's called the whiplash. Uh, you know, uh, th first of all, thank you for being here. Always nice to have you on the You're show. Welcome. We, nice um, we've been talking tonight some about Valentine's Day a little bit and I was just curious you know people probably want to know a lot of ladies out there want to know how do you spend your Valentine's Day what's your what's your big plan oh, oh my god uh, you know me and my wife we're gonna just go for a couple of days in uh, in a place we like uh, close by Los Angeles but the biggest thing I'm doing for Valentine's Day it's uh, I have a rabbit who's been by himself for like more than six months now uh, you have a pet rabbit pet rabbit yeah, yeah. so we're bringing him a lover for Valentine's Day <laughs> <laughs> A rabbit hooker is coming uh, over. No, she's going to actually stay there. She's going to so, live there. So he's a male, and you're getting him a, a female. Female, yeah. They're both neutered, I mean, but it's, you know, girl is a girl, you know. <laughs> just a So company, you're just torturing you know? the guy rabbit. No, I'm not. First of all, let's chop those off. Then here's a lovely lady. <laughs> this no. poor guy's going to shoot himself. He doesn't know what he's missing. He doesn't never did know. It before, oh, I see. You know? Okay, so, yeah. so you're going to get these two together, and, well, that's a nice gift. Yeah. Do you know that these two rabbits, do, do all male rabbits get along with all female rabbits? No, that's sort of a problem. We need to keep them together for a couple of days, and then we need to see if they're going to, you know, go well together. If they don't, then, then I don't know what's going to happen. Then just separate cages. You're not going to, you know. Yeah, or maybe, you know, like uh, kitchen, you know, rabbit soup. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Joe, Joe, come on, He would guys. never do that. He would never do that. But if you make some, I want it. I hear it. Right, <laughs> Now, I understand you have a bit of a, a problem that you forget your wife's birthday. Is that, is that true, that you have a problem no, no, forgetting no, no. your wife's birthday? I'm, I never forget it. Every time on a birthday, I, I'm ready. But problem is, you know, like, uh, I know it's in February sometimes. You just so, said, because I have a problem, too, with remembering, I have a problem with remembering dates, and I know a lot of people do. Is that what you're talking about? You have exactly, a problem? you know, but I know it's in February, so in January, I go to a place where we keep passports and IDs and stuff, so I look at the passport, I, okay, it's, uh, it's in February, so I know the date, you know, and then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just... I'm you just, check her passport to find out when her birthday you know, is? I have to do it. That's so romantic. <laughs> Happy birthday, man. See your papers, please. <laughs> Mm, yes, yes, this is all in order. I love you, you know. The only problem is... A stamp. <laughs> you know, when you sit with your wife and a company in a bar or something, you know, and it's like July or something, that's mm -hmm. like tricky. And somebody's asking, so when's your wife's birthday? You're like, uh, February? February? Uh, like, uh, February. Yeah. That's like, I don't have a passport on You say so like, yeah, I have to check her, her identification <laughs> and then I'll let you know. Not Thank so romantic. <laughs> Not a romantic idea. You speak... Um, you speak English very well. You speak uh, English for someone who it's it's not your your native tongue, obviously. No. Are you working with a dialect coach? Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, I've been using dialect coach for three years on ER. Every feature film I do, I work with dialect coach. You know. And that helps. This person is helping you. How does it work? Do they do they work with you on pronunciation? Do they work? Yeah. With you, you got lots of exercises. You know, like uh, you know, English. You know. Just like those, those like M and So this guy R's just yells at stuff. you, speak English. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. sound too helpful. Yeah, English, like, speak English. <laughs> Come on, speak English. <laughs> I picture a guy off the side while you're doing a complicated scene in ER, and he's like, speak English. <laughs> That's not helping that guy. No, nah, you have like exercises like, you know, one of them is like, you know, you, you try to go really fast saying, remember the money, remember the money, remember the money, remember the money. Oh, he gives you, you know. the, fr and the phrase, remember, is oh, remember yeah. the money. Exactly. That's one of the tricky ones. Remember the money. Yeah. Remember, I guess because it has a lot of, yeah, remember the money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> remember the lots money. Lots of R's, lots of V's. Right. Know. 
I've been shooting once, uh, two years ago, I've been shooting film, it's supernatural thriller, you know, lots of like blood, sort of like horror type of thing. I was laying on, on a table, like really uncomfortable position, but I have a big speech before that. So I'm like, I'm trying to warm up my, you know, muscles and stuff. So I'm like, remember the money, remember the money, remember the money. And then crew suddenly start laughing, you know, and then I got it, you know, they thought I'm saying to myself, just remember the money, everything's going to be good. Yeah, because... Okay. Then the word got around, he is really shallow <laughs> and materialistic. So when you go to benefits, like to help children, you're like, remember the money. <laughs> Goron, we're here to help these kids. Remember the money, remember the money. No, then I got the toughest so Remember the children, you see, I, I yeah, can't yeah, say it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You gotta make sure the phrases he gives you aren't embarrassing. Yeah, I know, next time I'm gonna do it. So um, you're from Croatia. Yeah. And I'm just guessing that there would be Croatian uh, sort of expressions or phrases that, that maybe, are, are they the same as the expressions that we would use here in America, it's, or are they different? It's sort of tricky when you translate them from one language to another. That's always tricky. When you try to translate the joke, it's always like bad joke. I'm, anyway, I'm a bad joke teller, so I won't go there. But like one, you know, we're shooting ER, and I want to say, you know, that I, I said to the guys, I, I want to say I feel like a bull in a china shop, which mm -hmm. I know now how to say. So I say I feel like an ele elephant in a glass factory. Because that's yeah. how they say it in Croatia. Yeah, when you translate, that's our expression, elephant in a glass factory. So everybody's like, uh, okay, we got what you were trying to say, but what were you trying to say, bull in a china shop? I'm like, yeah, it's the same thing. See, they're being like, bastards, because it's like, yours is just <laughs> as good as... We you don't know what elephant in glass factory... Yeah. Oh, bull in china shop! <laughs> <laughs> well, please, you, you know, don't talk crazy anymore. I mean... <laughs> That's a perfectly acceptable expression. I know, I know. I, I, I tell it every time. You know. They're just being difficult. Like, they are, they are, you know. Are yeah. there any other ones, or is that the... No, you know, if you want to say, uh, if it's something really obvious, you know, in my language you're going to say, like, you can see it from the airplane, something like that, because it's so big and stuff. So right, I, right. I use that one, and normally everybody, everybody get it. Right. Well, no, that's just not... <laughs> Don't pity the man like that. <laughs> They're like, ha, 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 no, that's... Uh... I get pity laughs all the time. I've built a career on it, my friend. No, but like, but you can see it from the airplane. Again, I completely understand that. It's not like yeah, trying yeah. to be funny or anything. It's just like saying, yeah, I, that's, that's exactly. obvious. It's like, you know, bull in a china shop. No, elephant, elephant in, in a glass, glass factory. factory. Yeah. Stick with your way. I like your way better. <laughs> ER airs Thursday nights, of course, at 10 on NBC. Goran, we love it when you come by. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thanks. Goran Vishnik, everybody. Todd Lynn coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. It's insane. All right, everybody. Uh, great show tonight. Great show coming up tomorrow night from the new movie Daredevil and the TV show alias Jennifer Garner is going to be here. Uh, comedian Harlan Williams, very funny man, and musical guest Ted Leo and the pharmacist. Watch that show. We'll be right back with Todd Lynn. Stick around. My next guest is